Chapter 80 Sword of Vengeance You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ah, damn. I knew it. I unintentionally shouted at Nagisa as she ran out toward Shinya. It is obvious that this would happen if Nagisa saw her family murderer, Shinya. I want to curse the heavens for this man who is the fourth heavenly king of the Demon King army to appear in the beginning of the game. I really shouldn't have come here. I run after Nagisa without caring, even though the spell to hide my appearance is lifted. Although he is an enemy that I do not want to fight at this moment, now that Nagisa recognizes him, a battle is inevitable. And as I run alongside Nagisa, I draw my sword from my waist. Hmm, a newcomer, ha. Huh? While Nagisa runs toward him with a murderous intent, Shinya, who has been fighting Leon, turns his eyes toward her. The sharp, cold look in his eyes made Nagisa think of her own death, but she pointed the tip of her sword at her enemy. Nagisa. Match me. Dot. Nagisa's eyes show a drop of reason as I shout out the command. She reflexively matches her attack based on our experience of training together in the morning. Magic sword, black wolf slash dot. Saikai ito, ryu, namakiri futo dot. Dot. A black slash from the right. A blue slash from the left. The simultaneous strikes are a true kill. The timing of the two attacks was so exquisite that it would be impossible to reproduce them even if asked to do the same thing again. However. Saikai ito dot ryu, zekai dot. Shinya make a slash with his sword and it collides with our slash. Two slashes and one slash. They balanced each other for about half of a second. But Nagisa and I are the ones who are blown backward by the force of the blow. Dot. Damn. It's no use. Nagisa and I rolled on the ground and quickly got up. Shinya was standing in front of us, not blown away. Dot the attack was not so bad, but. There was too much difference in our stats at this point. Our skill level is too low. What kind of unreasonable game is it to take on the four heavenly kings in the first half of the story? It's just too much. That I'm surprised. You're a lot better than those nominal heroes. Who are you? A closer look reveals that Shinya's chest is slightly ripped open, with a red line trailing under his dark blue outfit. He may not have been completely unharmed, but he is far from damaged. But. It's sad. It's really sad to see a surprise attack by two people like this. It's sad that I thought you went in to save the hero there. But you were reckless enough to jump in without running away. Saikai.san and Baskerville. Why are you here? On the other side of Shinya, Leon is kneeling with his shoulder moving up and down violently. His breathing is erratic, and he is clearly at the end of his physical strength. He also has small wounds all over his body. Each wound is not large, but together they probably cause a lot of blood loss. By the looks of things, Leon will not be able to fight any longer. It is unlikely that he could be counted as an asset. Saikai. What a surprise. Isn't it Oju.sama? Shinya shouted in response to Leon's words. It was not a derisive taunt but a voice of pure joy. Don't tell me you have followed me this far west. What a surprise. I'm glad to hear that you are so attached to me. Shut up. You are a disgrace. You're a traitor of our school. This is harsh. The strong slaughter the weak and survive by eating them. That was the truth of the sword your father taught us. Do not mock my father's teachings. The law of the jungle is no excuse for oppressing the weak. My father taught us to have the strength to stand up to the strong. I will not allow evil people like you to oppress others. Nagisa Nagisa, who was enraged, cut at Shinya by herself. I rushed to follow her, but the fierce sword fight between the two swordsmen with Japanese swords is too fierce for me to intervene. Her eyes are bloodshot with intense hatred and she looks only at Shinya. If I carelessly joined the fight, we might have ended up in a comrade's duel. 
Damn. I knew this was going to happen. I growled through my clenched teeth. Shinya Kushinagi, one of the four heavenly kings of the Demon King's army and the man who killed Nagisa's father and destroyed the school. In fact, this man is a fellow student of the Saikai Ido. Ryu style, just like Nagisa. In the past, Shinya was a talented swordsman who outshone other students and was well known in the Far East as an excellent and ambitious swordsman. His talent was so great that even Nagisa's father, the master, was so impressed that he was thinking of having him take over the dojo as his son. In law. But Shinya's two high aspirations lead him astray. A sword is a weapon. Swordsmanship is the art of killing. This is a truth that has been told in a famous manga about swordsmen, and Shinya has also been possessed by such subject matter. And to perfect his sword, he must slay and kill. So, he became a swordsman who only seeks for strength, and has begun to commit dojo. Storming against swordsmen of other schools, and even to engage in a kind of suji. Giri, the killing of a passerby on the road at night, in order to test the sharpness of a sword, or to improve one's skill. The country where Nagisa lived in the Far East was in a peaceful period of about 100 years after the end of a long war. It was the Edo period in Japanese history. But in this peaceful time, Shinya, who was a manslayer, was akin to a demon. It is impossible to leave him alone. So, Nagisa's father, though regretting Shinya's talent with the sword, cut off his dominant arm and banished him from the school. And. In retaliation, I made a pact with the demon and attacked and destroyed the dojo. You stupid, recalcitrant bastard. Ha 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 ha. Nagisa and Shinya are fighting each other with techniques of the same school and are engaged in a fierce battle. At first glance, the two seem to be fighting evenly, but while Nagisa was looking desperate, Shinya was smiling with a relaxed smile on his face. He is obviously cutting corners. But for now, I have to make the most of this time Nagisa has made for me. Ares, come here. Treat Brave and his friends. Ah dot yes. I call for Ares, who has been standing a short distance away, fascinated by the battle. Now, let's heal Leon's party while we can. So, I take out my own healing potion and run over to Leon's party. Chapter 81 Amino Hazamaru You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Hey! Are you guys alright? I shouted at Leon's party, who looked like they had wounds all over their bodies. Seal is bleeding from the chest. Melia is tending to her. And a little further away from them, Leon is kneeling down with a wound. They are cornered, as if they were about to be annihilated. I. Isn't it Baskerville. San? Did you come to help us? Melia, who is holding a cloth to Seal's chest to stop the bleeding, looks up. Her tone of voice was slow and tense, but her forehead covered with beads of sweat. At her feet, there are exhausted bottles of recovery medicine and remnants of rescue fireworks. It seems that it was Melia who launched the fireworks. Is it because of my good behavior that the help comes so conveniently? And Baskerville.San, you're getting a lot of points from Melia. Shall I give you a kiss on the cheek? No need. I'm glad to see you're doing well, but I guess you're not. Please, Ares. Okay. I'll take care of it. Ares begins to heal the unconscious seal. Seal, whose face is as white as paper, is obviously out of combat, but Ares will be able to heal her without any problem. Well, it's good. In the meantime, I'll go to Leon. Here, here's a potion. Drink it quickly or you'll die. Baskerville. Why are you here? Leon looks up at me while kneeling on the ground, breathing on his shoulders with wounds all over his body. But I shrug my shoulders and ask Leon back. That's my line. How did you end up fighting such a crazy enemy? That I don't know. He challenged me to a fight because I'm the descendant of a hero. Hmm. Leon's explanation pulls the game scenario from my memory. 
As a descendant of a hero, Leon was often targeted by the minions of the Demon Lord's army, including the gargoyle that he fought in the first dungeon. But dot of course, Shinya, the fourth heavenly king, does not appear in the early stages of the game. There must be some event that triggers it. Ah. I suddenly realized one fact. The next assassin of the Demon King's army that the hero Leon fights after defeating the first assassin, a gargoyle, is a monster named Gargoyle Powered. This is a gargoyle that was defeated by Leon once, but has been specially modified and greatly strengthened by the Demon Lord's army. For Leon, the gargoyle is the mortal enemy who killed his classmate. There is supposed to be an event battle where those who have a history with each other clash again. That gargoyle, I had killed it. I whisper to myself, so Leon can't hear me. Come to think of it, I had already killed the gargoyle. And there is no way the gargoyle and Leon will have a rematch. Perhaps the defeat of the gargoyle is the reason for Shinya Kushinagi's appearance. Is it possible that this incident might have alerted the Demon King's army to Leon's power, and they suddenly sent one of the four heavenly kings into the fray? Well, the common sense says that the weaker enemies are sent in turn to help the protagonist to raise his level up. But now that the game has become a reality, the sudden appearance of the stronger enemies is an unreasonable development. That I was the cause again, wasn't I, sorry about that. I mean, who would have thought that saving the lives of Jean and Arisa would have changed the scenario too much? Eh, 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 eh. Nagisa. In the meantime, Nagisa is blown away and flies into the air. She rolls on the ground, spraying red blood, until she comes to my feet. Hold on. Are you all right? Ugh. Nagisa is barely conscious with a deep cut in her abdomen. Immediately I take out a healing potion and sprinkle it on the wound. Moss Doctor. Don't talk. You'll bleed your guts out. I have lost. Without avenging my father. Without avenging everyone. Dot. Nagisa's eyes are filled with tears. But such tears from the stout dot hearted Nagisa had never happened even in the game. It's sad. It's so sad. Nagisa Oju. San. It's sad that you're so weak that you can't even avenge your father's death, dot. I look up at the theatrical voice and see Shinya covering his face with his palms in sorrow against the cliff of the ravine. He doesn't even attack Nagisa, who has been blown away. Instead, he is treating Nagisa as if she is his subordinate. How do you feel? You chased me all the way from the east to avenge your family death, and when you finally found me, you were defeated because you couldn't even draw out your true power and was beaten by me. It must have been a humiliating experience. At that time I let you off the hook, but it seems that was all for nothing. You. But I respect your seriousness. You may not be good enough to kill me, but you may still be worth using. Ignoring my glare, Shinya smiles with amusement. The edge of his palm reveals his ugly crescent-shaped lips. Oju.san, no, Nagisa. You will conceive my child. If it's you and me, I'm sure our child will grow up to be a mighty swordsman. You will give birth our child who will inherit my talent, and you will raise our child. And when our child is fully grown, I will slay him, her. Ha 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 ha. If it's a child with my blood in it, it will be a good fertilizer. It was a loud laugh that was too loud to be heard. And for the note, in accordance with his contract with the demon, Shinya has the ability to gain strength by killing the strong and taking their lives as his strength. Both Nagisa's father and his students were killed by this man and became his food and strength. Ha 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 ha. It must be humiliating to give birth to a child whom you hate as an enemy. But don't worry. If I had not expelled from the school, you would have become my wife. It's just a matter of getting back together. Don't be discouraged. Ha 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 ha. That you're a much uglier man than you sound. Don't spew any more words that stink more than shit. Ha. I spat out, 
and Shinya turned his eyes to me as if he had just noticed. Humph. I ignore his eyes, which are twisted into a grim expression. Then, I carry the fallen Nagisa to Ares. When you're done with the first aid, please take care of Nagisa. And. Please give me a buff. You dot understand, strength up. Guard up. Stamina charge. Rapid foot. Ares puts her hands together as if in prayer and casts a support spell on me. A blue effect envelopes my body, and I feel my strength welling up from within. Xenon.sama, I wish you good luck. Master, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ares and Nagisa send me off together. In their eyes, I could clearly see their concern for me and their wishes for my safety. I can't lose, can I? To that scumbag who is no better than a scoundrel. After all, the heroine is watching over me. Defeat is unacceptable. So, I'll kill any insolent man who tries to touch her. And. Nagisa, I'm a man who keeps his promises. Dot. I'll avenge your family, just as I promised. So, please watch my back carefully. Dot. I leave with these words and walks toward Shinya. Right now, my heart is boiling with anger, but my thoughts are strangely clear and cool. Maybe human beings become calm when their anger reaches an extreme level. I'm going to kill that son of a bitch. B. Baskerville. Leon stands up and calls out to me as I head toward the enemy. I'll help you. We'll fight together. Take it easy. Your wounds are not fully healed. Your legs shaking. But. Leon tries to argue with me, but I put a smile on my face and look at him. Ugh. I'm not going to fight a fight I can't win. I'll show you the power of the man who beat you. I understand. But, be careful. I tried to reassure him with a smile, but Leon's face became obviously frightened. Did I look that scared? Thanks for waiting. I'm sorry I left you hanging. That it's sad. It's so sad that you think you can beat me all by yourself. Shinya looked at me reproachfully and hurled a snide remark at me. Are you Nagisa's man? Or are you just another companion? You look rather weak for a comrade who has gathered here to defeat me. Is that all you have to say? If you have more to say, go on. You'll never speak again. Get all the shit out of your mouth. Dot you're really an unpleasant man. Be glad that a sad little fish is my food. Shinya slash sideways with his sword in a smooth movement. The slash is so natural that it is hard to be alert, as silent as the calm of the sea. Ha. Dot del dot c but I caught it with the sword I had taken out of my magic bag. Ha. Shinya's face changes color in surprise. Then, he leaps backward and moves away from me. Perhaps the reason for his astonishment is not that he was able to catch the special slash but other reason. What's with that sword? Where did you get that? The composure he had shown earlier disappeared from his face. Instead, his gaze, filled with strong hostility and caution, is fixed on the sword in my right hand, the Amino Hazamaru. Chapter 82 Demon's Arm You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Magic Sword. Amino Hazamaru. It is not a weapon that can be obtained in a game, but an original item created by taking material items to a blacksmith. The performance of the weapon, which has been strengthened through more than 10 rounds of gameplay, surpasses even the strongest equipment in the game, the Holy Sword X Brave. Although it looks like a single dot edged odachi, it is classified as a sword rather than a katana. Its black blade is slightly damp as if it were covered with moisture, and reflects the light, giving off an icy emerald dot blue glow. The overwhelming sense of intimidation that the sword carries, even to the untrained, suggests that it is an extraordinary work of art. In fact, Shinya Kushinagi's facial muscles tightened and he looked impatient as he saw me holding the Amino Hazamaru in my hands. Where did you get that sword? Answer me, you brat. What's the matter? 
where's the composure you had before? Dot. Shinya's face is distorted as I laugh it off as a taunt, because he has been mocked by someone whom he had underestimated as an inferior opponent. Dot it's so sad. An insignificant brat seems to be getting carried away. It's sad that you are so foolish that you don't know the terrible fate that awaits you. Shinya kicked the ground and slashed at me with his sword. His slash is fast and sharp. It's clearly different from when he was fighting Leon and Nagisa. It's a slash without restraint. But. I caught the full force of the blow with a minimal movement, only tilting the Amino Hazimaru slightly. You fool. Huff, it's too slow. Does it look like it's stopping? Damn. I flick off Shinya's sword and slashes his left shoulder in return. Shinya quickly took evasive action, but he barely made it in time and blood splattered on the ground. Are you hiding your ability? How can a simple human being be this swift? I don't have to answer you. You can die, you piece of trash. Koha. I pretend to slash at him with the Amino Hazimaru, but instead I kick him with my left leg. Shinya is sent flying backward, unable to react to the unexpected move. Of course, this is not the end of the story. I take a big step forward and release a follow dot up attack. Oh, oh, oh. Goo. A slash as fierce as a storm, it is not Shinya, who is supposed to be superior, who is unleashing it, but me. I swung my Amino Hazimura down from above, slashed up, swung to the side, swung back, thrust, and swung down again. Shinya is not unresisting, but he is clearly forced into a defensive position. With only his one arm and his sword, he is doing his best to defend against my continuous attacks. But the slashes he couldn't catch kept hitting him one after another, inflicting more and more fresh wounds. Now, the game had turned. A one-dot sided attack. My turn goes on and on, and I'm pushing Shinya back. Of course, it is not that I suddenly became stronger after taking out Amino Hazimaru. The factor that brought about my overwhelming strength, it was a small bottle, clutched in my left hand. Paid item. Doping bottle. The item, which I had once used to defeat Gigant Mithril, had the effect of temporarily increasing my proficiency in a skill to its maximum level. I have used this item to max out two skills, swordsmanship, and, body enhancement. In order to equip Amino Hazimaru, I have to reach 90 or more in, swordsmanship, skill. If I hadn't used the doping bottle, I would not have been able to wear it in the first place. Unfortunately, I could only bring three doping bottles into this world. I used one bottle to defeat Gigant Mithril, and used two more bottles here. These paid items cannot be purchased at stores, and they do not drop from defeating enemies. This means that I have used up my trump card item. But. It's not too bad. If I can kill the bastard who hurt Nagisa. You bastard. You brat. The furious attack by the maximum value of, swordsmanship, and, physical reinforcement, had finally pushed Shinya to the brink. Probably, Shinya's strength had already been reduced to less than 30%. However that I don't have much time to spare either. The doping bottle has three minutes until it expires. Now, I have less than a minute left. If I'm Ultraman, the timer on my chest would be blinking. So, I can't take my time. This is the end. Dot. I try to make my final attack from the right side, which is Shinya's blind spot. Because Shinya's right arm, which is his dominant arm, has been cut off by Nagisa's father. No. Shinya screamed. Eddie eat his handsome face is twisted into a desperate cry. After killing innocent people, killing his mentor, killing his peers. The time of the end was coming for the evil swordsman who had sacrificed everything in order to become stronger. Dot did you think I would say such a thing? You sad and foolish brat. Or so it seemed. A moment later I swung my sword and tried to reap Shinya's torso. A bright red arm sprouts from Shinya's empty right shoulder. That is Shinya Kushinagi's trump card, 
Demon's Right Arm, Demon Light. The new right arm that Shinya has acquired by making a contract with a demon. Chapter 83 Settlement You are listening at NovelFull.audio I hope you die. You cheeky little brat. Shinya's bright red right arm swings down. The sharp clawed arm is so powerful that it could easily gouge rocks and cut through a human body like butter. This, devil's right arm. It is Shinya's last trump card. It is a concealed weapon for deceit. Its power is immense. It is a special attack from his hidden right arm that kills the opponent the first time he sees it. Ah, that's right. You're that kind of guy, I murmur to myself as I look at his approaching right arm emotionlessly. Shinya Kushinagi is a peerless swordsman. He is the second strongest opponent after the Demon King of the Four Heavenly Kings, and his brilliant swordsmanship surpasses Leon's and Nagisa's. But then again. Although Shinya is a powerful swordsman, he is by no means a samurai. The reason why Shinya was able to defeat Nagisa's father, the master of the Saikai Ito.ryu style, was not because of his superior swordsmanship. He won by a surprise attack with his demon's right arm just as he does now. Anyhow, Shinya was not a fair and square warrior. He is a despicable murderer who is willing to cheat and take hostages if necessary to win the battle. Yeah. I know you, I know you well. What? Shinya's right arm slices through the air. It was indeed the demon's right arm that caught me, but just before it hit me, my body vanished like a mirage. Dark magic, illusion ghost. It is a magic that creates illusions to avoid enemy attacks. And what Shinya sliced through was just an illusion. As for me, I stayed behind him, a few feet away from my shadow. Too bad, you're out of luck. No way. Did you read my attack? I didn't read it. But I knew it. Because I've been sick and tired of your ugly right arm. To win, he'll go to any length even the most despicable means. It may be a shameful thing for a samurai to do, but it is a way that I can relate to. What is important is the result of victory. To get it, I also don't hesitate to dope myself with items or to cheat with magic. In a sense, Shinya and I may have been the same kind of people. Damn. Shinya's missed a big blow, which he had intended to kill me with certainty, has created a clear opening. I have no right to let him get away with that. So, I stepped into Shinya's pocket this time and delivered a counter slash. If you can avoid it, avoid it. If you can't. You can die. You brat. Shinya lets out a desperate cry. Of course, no amount of shouting will stop the attack. The slash from the bottom up is still swung straight into Shinya's body. Damn it. No. But, after all, Shinya is also a first-rate warrior. He did not take the attack in silence. From the posture in which he swung his demon's right arm down, he twisted his waist forcibly and twisted his body as if he used the right half of his body as a shield. As a result, my slash hit the demon's right arm and slashed diagonally from the forearm to the middle of the elbow, and stopped. Heh. You're good. I stopped it, you sad brat. It's you who's sad. Hellfire Dragon Blast. My attack is not over yet. With my sword still embedded in Shinya's right arm, I activate the dark magic sword. Jet. Black flames pour out from Amino Hazamaru, burning Shinya's right arm from the inside. Gugawawia. Humph. With the sword covered in hellfire, I rotate my hips and swing the sword. The demon's right arm is finally severed by a heated slash and flies through the air. It spins around and flies away, but as soon as it hits the ground, it turns to white ashes and vanishes. GG Jararich. How dare you, how dare you take my arm um. Shinya leaps backward to get away from me after losing his right arm, his trump card. Shinya's right arm has been burned off, and he is now a one-dot-armed man again but the wariness in his eyes has not disappeared yet. 
His handsome face is contorted into a vicious, Yasha-dot-like expression, and he glares at me with searing hatred. How dare you, how dare you! I will cut off your limbs from end to end, turn you into Daruma, and then give you all kinds of pain. You can't do it, you know. Yeah, it's impossible. My coldly assured words are overlaid by a voice as clear as the sound of wind chimes. The sentence of despair, like a bottomless sea, was released from right behind Shinya. What? Shinya's expression changes to one of surprise. He turns to look back at the voice coming from such a close distance that he is horrified, but a silent slash cuts his neck before he can turn around. Saikai Ido. Ryu Hidden Technique, Watatsumi no Tachi. Dot. Dot. It was a silent yet powerful slash. Nagisa, who had somehow gotten behind Shinya, released a slash that left no sound behind and sliced Shinya's neck with a speed that left no sound behind. A little later, the sound of plop severed the neck bone is heard, and Shinya's head flies away from his body. Slowly, in a slow motion, the headless body falls to the ground. The head, which is flying in the air, looks at both eyes wide open in shock, as if it still does not understand what has happened to it. I've been watching your back, just like you told me, master. Nagisa said with a smile and sheathed her sword in a beautiful, flowing motion. The white blade disappears into the scabbard, leaving a blue afterglow like the sea on a clear day. The enemy is defeated. The blade and scabbard clink, and Shinya's head crashes to the ground at the same time. The fallen head does not turn to ashes like the demon's right arm, but instead bleeds and forms a black puddle on the ground. Chapter 84 Resurrection and Destruction You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Dot. Looking down at the corpse of the man who was her family murderer, Nagisa is silent with an indescribable expression on her face. The dignified face of the girl is not only filled with a sense of accomplishment at having achieved her goal, but also with a somewhat lost feeling. Can I say congratulations? Master. When I called out to Nagisa who was standing still, she looked at me with weak eyes as if she was clinging to me. This is a rare look for Nagisa, who is always so resolute. That I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your help. Thanks to you I was able to avenge my enemy. I'm glad to hear that. You did well. Dot. Nagisa becomes silent again with a somewhat delicate expression on her face. I waited for Nagisa to start speaking without saying a word. What? Should I do now? After a while, Nagisa mumbled something like that. Nagisa is at a loss. I wonder if this is what is called, burnout syndrome. The kind of burnout where you have achieved a great goal, and you are so discouraged that you don't know what to do with yourself. After all, she was supposed to devote her life to revenge, but she happened to meet her target and avenge him easily, and she seems to be confused by the fact. Master. Please give me one more instruction. What should I do now? Hey, hey. Don't ask me. It's your life. I reply in a quiet tone. I understand Nagisa's feeling of having lost her purpose, but it's not up to me to decide what happens next. It is for her to decide for herself. It is okay to revive a school. Or pursue the way of the sword. You can go home and mourn for your father and your friends. Your life is yours to decide. Dot. I can understand why you might feel a little discouraged when you've achieved your goal but life is no longer after your dreams and aspirations have come true. Your life is far from over. I see. I can make my own decision. Nagisa thought for a moment, and then nodded clearly. Then. She walked up to me and looked up at me with straight eyes. Master.no, my lord. Please allow me to serve you again as your servant. Dot. I owe you a great debt of gratitude for all that you have done for the restoration of my school and for the mourning of my people. Please allow me to serve you as your vassal and to devote myself to you. That I see. To tell the truth, Nagisa's reaction was as expected. In the game, Nagisa had pledged her allegiance to Leon, 
the main character, after defeating Shinya Kushinagi, the target of her revenge. Then comes the reward scene, which is a torture for me, as I am celibate until the day I defeat my father. That I'm going to make love to you, remember. I'm going to do something so great you'll be surprised. Hmm is something wrong, my lord. Nothing. Nagisa, I've received your loyalty. I'll be counting on you. Yes, use it to your heart's content. As a sword and as a woman, dot. Nagisa smiled brightly and held out her hand. I reach out to grab her hand, my face indescribable at the words that could be taken as a temptation. But. Just before I take Nagisa's hand, a fierce feeling of fear runs up my spine. Nagisa. Whoa. I take Nagisa's hand and leaps forward. The next moment. A sword is swung down on the spot where we had just been. Look out. Baskerville. Too late. If you're going to warn me, warn me sooner. I glared at the assailant, yelling at Leon for issuing a warning too late. Ha, ha ha ha. It's sad, it's sad that you're so stupid that you think you've won. You be asterisk starred. Why are you still alive? Nagisa looked at the attackers and shouted with wide eyes. The one who had just swung down his sword was Shinya Kushinagi, the man who had just had his head chopped off. His whole body was stained by the flowing blood, and he had wounds all over his body. He looked like nothing more than a mortal, but his head, which was supposed to have been cut off by Nagisa's sword, was still firmly connected to the rest of his body. That that's impossible. How did you come back from hell? It was an impossible sight. In the game, Shinya's head was chopped off by Nagisa at the end. Of course, he was never resurrected. I had no idea how the fallen swordsman in front of me had come back to life. You ignorant. You ignorant people make me sad. Shinya took out a small sphere from his pocket with his crazy eyes shining brightly. What emerged between his two fingers is a flaming crimson dot-colored jewel. The oval dot-shaped jewel looked like an egg with a deep crack in the center. A phoenix egg. How did you have that? Hmm. You knew it well. As I thought, you're not just a small fry. It seems that it's not the hero or Nagisa Ojo.sama that I should be wary of, but you. Shinya smirks at me and confirms my words. Phoenix Egg is an equipment item that can be obtained in the latter half of the scenario, and it is an accessory with an automatic resurrection effect. Bet o them if you equip this item, you can revive yourself with 20% of your health when you are killed by an enemy. Although it can be used only once, and it will shatter if used. It's a very effective accessory against enemies who would unleash a one-dot-hit-dot-kill attack. Since it is not a unique item, it can be obtained any number of times by visiting the dungeon called Flame Mountain. But it was completely unexpected that Shinya had it. Really, he's a foul enemy. It's too much to be expected for a boss character to be equipped with a resurrection item. It is annoying that boss characters use recovery spells such as Behoma, or, Kuraga, but if they use resurrection items, the balance of the game will be broken. It's not even funny to see the bosses that have been defeated with hard work and damage resurrected. However. If I think about it, this may not be so surprising. Now that the game has become a reality, I am free from various fetters. I have been able to do many things that would have been impossible in the game, such as winning the heroine of the hero, saving people who were supposed to die, defeating enemies who could not be defeated in the beginning of the game. Then. It is natural that the enemy could do the same thing. They have items that they are not supposed to have, they have foul revival items. I guess the enemy side is also benefiting from the game's fetters being removed. It's a depressing thing. It would have been a nice ending if Nagisa had killed you. You really can't read the air, can you, you troublemaker? Ha ha ha, you brat, I'm not going to follow your lead. But. Shinya looks at me, Nagisa, and Leon, Ares, Melia, and Seal, who are a little further away, in turn. Nagisa and I are mostly unharmed. 
Leon and Melia are wounded, but their wounds had already been healed by Ares. Except for Seal, who is unconscious, we still have enough strength to fight. On the other hand, although Shinya was able to revive himself, the effect of the phoenix egg had restored only 20% of his strength. His torn demon's right arm does not seem to have recovered either. In this situation, Shinya had only one choice. Dark bullet. I fire a spell at Shinya. But it is too late, and Shinya's body leaps up into the air. He leaps to the top of a small rocky hill and looks down on us from above. I'll let your life be in your hands for now. But the next time we meet I'm going to eat you up without a shred of your soul. Are you kidding me? Get down here. Nagisa shouts in desperation, but Shinya cries out with an ugly smile plastered on his face. It's sad. You think you have killed me, don't you? To think that you almost missed the murderer, who killed your father. You really are a sad person. Shinya. Don't you have the pride of a swordsman? Come down and fight me. I have no right to obey a command to come down. Even if I were wounded and I would not be defeated by you but your man is a bit of a nuisance. I'm going to have to step back now. Shinya puts his sword over his shoulder and turns his hate-filled, fiery eyes on me. You brat. No, they call you Xenon. I will let the other demons, slash Mizoku, know about you. From now on, all demons will be your enemies. You may sleep with a shiver. Dot you're really a sore loser. Does this sound like a real loser? You reek of a small fry who's getting off on the wrong foot and will be easily beaten. Dot. I provoked him, but Shinya only twisted his face in hatred and didn't come down. Tisk. I click my tongue and clench my fists so hard that my nails dig into my palms. I let the man who killed Nagisa's family go. I miss the enemy I was so close to killing. It was more humiliating than a simple defeat, and it was heartbreaking. I should have killed him here. I could have killed him. But. Shinya had already escaped out of my reach. I grit my teeth and look up at Shinya standing on the rocky hill. Shinya, too, looked down at me with hatred, and was about to leave. I'll never forget your face. The next time I see you will be your last. Remember that. Dot. Farewell. Shinya turns around and is leaving. And all I could do is to watch him go, helplessly. Dot ah. Ha. Huh. But then. Something unexpected happened, for us and for Shinya. Shinya was about to turn his back and leave, but when he turned around, there is someone who had somehow come in his direction. You are. Gaha. Shinya was about to say something, but before he could finish, the person thrust out his, her hand forward. The sword thrusts out and pierces Shinya's chest, through his heart, and down to his back. It's ridiculous, you. You. Shinya's mouth was filled with blood foam and his voice was shaking. This is not the way he expected to die. He was beaten by us, who were supposed to be inferior to us, and he survived by using a revival item. And just when he thought he could escape, someone pierced his heart and killed him without a second thought. Gah. Shinya's body collapses to the side and he tumbles off the rock pile. He can only wear one accessory at a time. Of course, the phoenix eggs have already been used up. No matter how hard he tried, there was no way he could revive himself. Hey, hey, are you kidding me? Shinya's defeat reveals the person on the other side. Realizing the identity of this person whom I had seen many times in the game, I let out a stifled voice. You you you. Triple A. A woman wearing a black dress stands in the background against the purple sky, letting out a voice that sounds like a groan. Her skin is pale and lifeless. Her golden hair flows down her back. Her eyes are a chillingly cold jade green. Queen Margarita. She's the boss of this dungeon. She is the Queen Margarita, the Queen of the Dead, a formidable foe comparable to the four heavenly kings of the Demon King's army. 
In her right hand, Queen Margarita, dressed in a dress, held a pale blue sphere. That is a soul, which was been attacked by instant dot death attack used by undead monsters, soul eat. And the soul of Shinya Kushinagi, which had been gouged out of her body, is in the queen's hand. Shinya's soul now is desperately clawing at the seaweed like a creature trapped by a predator. But the queen throws it into her mouth without hesitation. Gaawea. A hair dot raising scream is emitted from Queen Margarita's mouth. The scream from the queen's mouth is not her own. It was from the soul dot eaten Shinya. For the note, those who have been defeated by the soul dot eat cannot be released unless someone defeat the undead who have taken their souls. So, Shinya could neither go to heaven nor hell, and she was to suffer in her body forever until the day someone defeated Queen Margarita. Ah! Queen Margarita licked her lips with her long tongue in satisfaction after eating Shinya's soul and turned her back without even a glance at us. Dot. We watched in stunned silence as Queen Margarita disappeared into the depths of the canyon. Thanks Ekmo for the detail. Chapter 85 With love and loyalty you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. After that, we escaped from Margarita Canyon accompanied by adventurers, who saw the rescue fireworks and rushed to our place. After returning to the entrance of the canyon, we reported to Wanko.sensei about the battle with one of the four heavenly kings of the demon king's army. We also reported to Wanko.sensei about our encounter with Queen Margarita. We were immediately taken to the capital by an earth.dragon carriage, and were interrogated by the knights of the royal palace. The knights seemed to be suspicious about the appearance of the demon king's army and the fact that the students had defeated one of its officers, but when I gave them the drop items recovered from Shinya's remains, they seemed to finally be convinced. After two hours of interrogation, I was released, but the sun had already set and it was nighttime. BDNVL Demaris and Nagisa, who had finished the interview earlier, were waiting for me in front of the knight's guardroom and the carriage of the Baskerville family was also parked there to pick me up. Gashijin.sama, I was worried, Diso no. Oh, sorry. You came all the way here to pick me up, Urza. Apparently, she had come with a carriage to pick me up. But then, Urza jumped in and hugged me. Urza presses her head pressed against my chest like a small animal sniffing its favorite spot. I wonder if I have worried her too much. Still, although I'm sorry to hear that, I'd like to ask her to stop pressing her horns against my head, because they are hurting me. It took you long enough, my lord. We finished our interrogation quickly. What's wrong? Dot don't ask. It's too depressing to explain. At Nagisus and Ares's questioning, I shook my head slowly with a tightened face. The reason why my interrogation took so long was because I was being interrogated under suspicion of something that was not true. The knight who asked me about the situation suspected me of being a collaborator of the Demon King's army without any evidence. This was because of my evil face and the notoriety of the Baskervilles. I explained to them that I had defeated Shinya, but it took them a long time to believe me. They finally believed me when Ares and Leon's party told their story but the knight who was in charge of the interview looked at me suspiciously until the very end. I don't like having my insides probed endlessly. Really? What have I done? I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Ares sympathetically smiles and claps her hands together, and then, she said as if remembered something. Oh, yes, I just got a call from the teacher that we can return home without going back to the school. The report can be made later so why don't we go back to the house and rest today? That I guess so. I feel like I'm going to collapse. My body and mind are both complaining of severe fatigue, after all. This is because I've used two doping bottles, which are very hard on my body, and fought against overwhelmingly stronger enemy. And after I'm finally back outside the dungeon, only to be interrogated on the suspicion of something strange. My fatigue has reached its peak, and my whole body is begging for rest. As I climb into the carriage dragging my body, Urza tries to sit next to me as usual. But Nagisa slipped first. Ah! 
That is Urza's place, dis or no? I'm sorry, Urza, but can you give it to me just for today? Ah. Uh. Just for today. I'm sorry. Urza gives her a reproachful look, and sits down on the opposite side beside Ares. I then ask Nagisa, who has come to sit next to me, suspiciously. Dot what's the matter? What can I do for you? Ah. My lord, let me thank you first. Thank you for. Whoa. Excuse me. Nagisa grabbed my head, made me roll over, and forced it onto her thighs. I felt a soft but slightly cory sensation on the side of my head. It seems that I have been put on her lap. It's a very exciting situation for me as a man. But to tell the truth, it's not so pleasant. It's not that I was dissatisfied with Nagisa's thighs. It's just that I had to lie down with my legs folded forcibly because of the narrow space of the carriage. Hey, hey, what's going on all of a sudden? My lord, thank you so much for your help in this matter. Thanks to you I was able to avenge my family. Dot. I look up at her from her lap, and I see that Nagisa has an auspicious look on her face. Looking closely at her face, I see that the bridge of her nose is straight and her eyelashes are long and well dot defined. She looks dignified when she is wielding a sword as usual, but she would also look good in a kimono and doing ikebana. Dot don't worry about it. After all, the last one took all the good parts. I had intended to give the final blow to Nagisa, but she failed because of the phoenix's egg. In the end, Queen Margarita eats Shinya's soul, and the result is still incomplete. Still. I was able to cut off the head of the man who killed my father and my brothers with my own hands. Thanks to this, I will be able to give a good report on their graves. Are you sure you don't want to go home? I don't mind if you do. Well, to tell the truth. I don't want Nagisa to go back to her hometown. After all, one of the four heavenly kings of the demon king's army has appeared, and if the scenario is correct, even the demon king will be back after the summer vacation. The battle against the demon king will be in full swing from now on. Under such a situation, it would be very troublesome to lose a valuable asset. However, she has avenged her family murderer whom she has been chasing for a long time. I am sure that she would like to take the credit for this victory and to bring the glory back to her hometown. With this in mind, I recommend that she return to her hometown, but Nagisa shakes her head. As I have said before, I am not so heartless as to put my personal feelings ahead of the gratitude I owe to my benefactor. I will not set foot in my homeland without returning the favor I owe to you, my lord. Nagisa declared clearly. Her clear, unwavering eyes reveal the honest and diligent character of a female swordsman. My sword belongs to you. This body exists only to serve you. My beloved lord. Use me as a sword or as a woman, as you wish. I see. Well, I don't mind. I murmur, and take my eyes off Nagisa's face, which is smiling a clear smile. Then, while resting my head on her reassuring warmth, I close my eyes in exhaustion. Chapter 86 Post-incident you are listening at novelfull.audio. Thanks Renny2425 for the support. The next day, I went to the school again to report the incident at Margarita Canyon. Not only Wanko.sensei, my homeroom teacher, but also the vice principal, the principal, and a board member who was apparently in a higher position, who did not usually appear in front of the students, asked me to explain the incident to them. The teachers were skeptical when they heard the story. Their reactions were similar to those knights who interviewed me at the knights' guardroom. After all, Shinya Kushinagi is one of the four heavenly kings of the Demon King army. He is a man who gains power by killing the powerful and eating them with his demon right arm, and is wanted all over the world for attacking powerful warriors. Dot so, it must be hard to believe that a simple student could defeat a man who had killed famous knights, warriors, and adventurers. Shinya's body, whose soul was eaten by Queen Margarita, has disappeared too, but fortunately, I found a drop item as a proof. 
that was the demon swordsman's magic stone and the cursed sword. Kamishini no Muramesa, which could only be obtained by defeating Shinya. This sword surely belongs to that evil swordsman. I have seen that man wield it on the battlefield. My explanation was backed up by a male second grade homeroom teacher. Although he was a mob character whose name was not even mentioned in the game, the teacher was a former mercenary who had been recruited as a teacher at Royal Sword and Magic Academy because of his abilities. The mercenary group I once belonged to was disbanded after that man killed our leader. To think that that fearsome swordsman was killed by a student of our school. However, it wasn't me who put the finishing blow, but the ghost of the queen. He must have been exhausted after fighting the hero's descendant. Hmm. I heard that the blood of a brave man has the power to weaken demons. If you defeated him after he was weakened by the power of the hero, it would make sense. The teachers accepted my explanation with a difficult expression on their face. Although there were many doubts, the school finally admitted that I had defeated Shinya Kushinagi. I had defeated the cadre of the Demon King's army, the sworn enemy of mankind. I was told that I would receive special points for my performance in the practical examination. After all, Shinya was wanted in many countries, and a large bounty was placed on his head. If our achievements were officially recognized by the government, we would receive a reward along with the commendation. There is no bounty in the game. But you can have whatever you want. By the way, the school and the knight asked me to hand over the dropped items, but I refused. You know, the demon swordsman's magic stone is a rare material that can be used to create powerful weapons, and the Kamashini no Muramesa originally belonged to Nagisa's father. It was taken from her when her father was killed, and the right of ownership would belong to Nagisa, the survivor of the family. I thank you again and again. I cannot thank you enough for retrieving the sword that was my father's pride and joy. I'm tired of hearing you say thank you. In the first place, I can't equip myself with that sword anyway. After shrugging Nagisa, who looked very moved, we returned to the Baskerville family's mansion. Following the practical examinations, there is a three-day post-test break. During this time, the teachers would grade our written and practical tests. The results of the test are announced on the first day of school, four days later. For the students waiting for the results, the three days gave them both a sense of release that the test is over and a sense of stagnation that they are in agony over the results that are no longer in their control. The rest will take care of itself. Ha! Huh. Anyway, I don't really care about the result of the test. No matter how impatient I am, no matter how much I hope for the result, the result of the test that is already over will not be changed. All I can do is to wait for the result with a calm and composed attitude. What concerns me more than the result of the test is the future of the Demon King's army. Shinya Kushinagi One of the four heavenly kings of the Demon King's army has been defeated. For the enemy, this must have been an unexpected loss. The demon lords would almost certainly think that Leon had defeated Shinya. For them, the only one who is troublesome is Leon, the descendant of Hero. Xenon Baskerville must have been out of their minds from the beginning. Maybe after this, they will send more assassins. Or, they will wait and see until the demon king's seal is completely broken. Whatever the demon king's army will do, it will be interesting to see how they will behave. I hope Leon will be more inspired and become stronger through this battle. Huff, it's troubling. What's wrong, my lord? I'm troubled. Troubled. Really, really troubled. I don't know what's troubling you. But is it itchy? No bubbles in your eyes. It's troubling. It's really troubling. I repeat, shaking my head slowly, as if trying to escape reality. I had just returned home from the school, and now I was in a very difficult situation. The place is the Baskerville's mansion. It is in the bathroom. I was naked in the bathroom, as a matter of course, but. Behind me was Nagisa, who was also naked without a stitch of clothing on. 
At this time, she is lathering my hair with soap and washing it diligently with both hands. Dot. I felt a soft touch on my back. The object of this soft feeling is obvious, but if I thought about it too much, I might lose my reason. Indeed, this is a situation that really troubles me. It has been a long time since Nagisa moved in. It is not the first time for us to bathe together, but I still feel more nervous than happy. Ah, damn it. This life is really annoying. I sigh deeply, feeling the blood rush to my lower body. Chapter 87 Hot Night You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. It has already been almost half a year since I started living with some beautiful girls. I should have gotten used to the life. Killing life in which I was constantly tempted by various temptations, but. Since the completion of the practical test, I have a feeling that the women are getting more and more proactive. The reason is obvious. Nagisa's mysterious awakening. Having achieved her life goal of avenging her father and her school, Nagisa has come to worship me as her lord for helping her to avenge her father's death. Although we had bathed together and slept in the same bed before, she began to treat me excessively now. She washed my hair and body in the bathtub, and she would even cuddle on my naked body without hesitation, and when we went to bed, she would hug me as a matter of course. And it is the other girls who are frightened by such changes in Nagisa. Ares and Urza, as well as Leviena, my maidservant, are getting more and more proactive like Nagisa, and every night a kind of sexual battle is going on. I have made it clear that I will stay celibate until the day I defeat my father, but these girls have been seducing me as if they don't care about that. In these days when my rationality was about to collapse, I almost became enlightened beyond my desires. Nagisa.san, please switch with me. I have cleaned myself. Calm down. Aries. You've worked up a sweat today. You must wash all the way down to the roots of your hair. Ah. Uh, you two are cheating. If only I'd pulled apart at that time. Nagisa is washing my hair, and Aries is waiting her turn to wash mine. Urza is in the bathtub a little farther away from me, soaking her body up to her nose in the hot water and spitting bubbles in frustration. I don't know what kind of exchange they had between them. But it seems that they have been deciding who washes my body and hair by rock dot paper. Scissors these days. Today's winners are Nagisa and Ares, while the loser, Urza, looked at them reproachfully. It can't be helped, Urza.san. Gashijin.sama is a great man. It is natural that everyone wants to serve him. These words of comfort came from Leviena, who was soaking in the bathtub with Urza. The beautiful maid is wearing a light bathrobe and is patting Urza's head. Don't worry, it will only be a little while longer. Today we are in charge of sleeping together. You will be able to sleep in Gashijin.sama's arms all through the night, right? Um, I know it. De so no. Patience, be patience. By the way, why is Leviena.san wearing clothes in the bath, de so no? You see, gentlemen are more aroused by thin clothes that show the lines of the body than by nakedness. The important thing is to be moderate. Rather than exposing your skin all the time, you should dare to put on clothes and let his imagination run wild. I'm learning a lot. I'll do my best so that Gashijin.sama won't get tired of me. And so on, a mysterious conversation took place in the background. Please, don't tell her something strange. I can't help but feel guilty every time I am tempted by Urza. MMM.hm. M. Dot. Dot. Nagisa was humming in a good mood while washing my hair. I don't know what she was enjoying so much but I could feel something swaying behind me as she hummed. Every nerve in my body is focused on my back, and I'm aware that I'm trying my best to sense the presence of the soft mass swaying behind me. It's done. I've finished washing your hair. My lord. Thank you. Now close your eyes while I rinse the bubbles. Dot. The shower dot-shaped magic item emits hot water of moderate temperature, 
and the bubbles on my head are washed away. Dot meanwhile, Nagisa presses her breasts against my neck in an unnaturally close contact. I felt a terribly soft and heavy mass wrapped around my neck from both sides, which held my head firmly in place. I see. It must be very easy for her to rinse my head if my head is fixed like this and there is no place to escape. I wonder where this girl, Nagisa, learned such a technique. Mmm. Hmm, he he, okay, okay, stop. That's it. The bubbles are already gone. Hey. You're being too harsh, Ares. Ares finally couldn't hold back any longer, and she pushed Nagisa out of the way and hugged me. My fixed head is released, but in place of it, a twin hill, one size larger than Nagisa's, touches me. Now it is my turn. Let me wash you. Whoa. Of course, Ares is trying to wash my body without using a sponge. To be more specific, she tried to wash my body with her own body covered in soapy foam. Hey! Isn't that a specialty store's technique? That's not something a heroine is allowed to do. Xenon.sama, I don't know what you're talking about. But, I think it's a wonderful way to serve Xenon.sama with my own body, right? Gigi-h. he he ha Ares smiles with a beaming smile and slides her body on my back. The slender arms of the woman called a saint are wrapped around me, passing through my armpits. Her ten fingers wriggle suspiciously, stroking my abs and pectoral muscles and occasionally flicking my nipples. I mean, where did this girl learn such a technique? Even though she is a saint. Why has she turned into a s asterisk x lady, completely? Hey. Wait a minute. Time, give me some time. He he ha. Xenon.sama's nipples are his weak point. I bet you don't even know it yourself, do you, Xenon.sama? Wait. Jigvich. The fingertips of the S asterisk X lady moved like a different creature, stimulating the sensitive parts of my body. It's already like a service in a special store. I wonder who started calling this woman a saint. Ah, uh, hi. He he ha. Ha 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 ha. The bathroom is filled with stifled screams and sadistic laughter. Thus, on this hot night of excessive service, the night goes on in a troubled and lustrous manner. But, tomorrow, the final exam results are finally announced. What will my rank be? Chapter 88 Results announcement You are listening at NovelFull.audio First year overall ranking for the first semester first, Leon Brave second. Seal Uranus third, Aries Centauria fourth, Nagisa Saikai fifth, Melia Su sixth, Ruffy Astaglow seventh, Jean Rose and the next day, the overall results are posted next to the main entrance of the school. My name is not among the top students. It's far below my companion Aries and Nagisa, and the name, Xenon Baskerville, is written at the 17th place. This must be a high rank considering that there are about 200 first-year students, but quite low considering the fact that the runner dot up rank at the entrance ceremony. Well. As expected, I guess. The result did not surprise me at all. It's not that I did not respond well to the test or that I did not have confidence in myself. In fact, the results of the grade posted on the bulletin board were not determined only by the written test and the practical test. But also, the internal comments such as the students' attitudes in class. And. To make matters worse, I have been suspended because of the incident at the time when Aries joined my group. Of course, that suspension was also included in my grade. That I'm sorry to hear that. Gashujin.sama, well. If it were only for the grades of the final examinations, my lord would be the best. Urza and Nagisa console me, but I shrug my shoulders, having predicted this result in advance. In addition to the overall results, the results of the written test and the practical test were also posted, and I came in a close second in the written test after Leon. In the practical test, I was in the same rank as Ares and Nagisa, who were members of my party. 
especially in practical skills, the fact that I defeated Shinya Kushinagi seems to have been highly evaluated, and I came in first place by a huge margin over Leon's party, which came in second. In other words, if it's only the ranking of the examination, I would have been the first. In fact, if I had not been suspended, I would have been the first place. I'm sorry Xenon.sama. It's my fault. Ares, who seemed to feel responsible and was the cause of the suspension, slumped her shoulders. Don't apologize. It's already happened. I already got your apology too. However, I think the suspension was a good training period for me. It wasn't that I wanted to be the first in the grade, and it didn't matter now. If you feel bad, please continue to be useful as a healer. I'm counting on you. Of course. I swear on the ring given to me by Xenon.sama, I will heal you with my body and soul. Ares grips the ring.shaped magic item on the ring finger of her left hand, and her eyes sparkle. It is a very encouraging statement, but dot why is it that I am the only one to be healed? Is it really because of my dirty mind that the words, body and soul, make me think of something wicked? By the way, Xenon.sama, I heard from Nagisa.san that there is a wonderful culture called Nayotemori in the east. Tomorrow is summer vacation, and I'd like to serve dinner with it to liven things up. Note. Nayotemori equals link, don't think I didn't know that. Oh God, why is your head only filled with pink? Really, this girl. She's already become S asterisk X lady, completely. Even if she's a heroine of an adult game, it's too much of a character change. Wait, Ares. Fresh sashimi is necessary for the girl's body. First we have to get some fish at the market. But in the capital, we can only get dried or salted sea fish. River fish smells too fishy. Hmm. Ah, that's right. There is a trading company which is favored by the Centoria Viscounts that sells magically frozen fish from distant places. We may be able to get fresh fish from the sea through them. Don't make concrete plans. Why are you guys so sex.conscious? Why are they talking about eroticism so harmoniously? How much do they want to have s asterisk x with me? If they love me so much, I no longer feel happy but feel like a small animal being targeted by predators. Don't talk like that with people around. Look, it's orientation time before summer break. Come on, let's get to the auditorium. I try to rush them and take them to the auditorium. But then. The hero, Leon Brave, stands in front of me. Leon is unusually alone, without his childhood friend Seal or newcomer Melia. Baskerville, can I talk to you for a minute? Hey, hey. Isn't that Brave.san, the top student of the year? What do you want? Don't tease me. I know I'm not worthy of it. When I asked him jokingly, Leon's handsome face was distorted. Dot it's obvious that you're stronger than me. You should be the first student of the year. What is it? You're flattering me all of a sudden. I don't appreciate compliments from a man. I tell him annoyed and he smiles at me bitterly. Baskerville you saved my life this time. If it weren't for you, I, Seal, and Melia would have been killed by him. Thank you so much. Dot, but I haven't lost yet. I haven't given up on winning. Leon looks at me clearly, and he assures me forcefully. You're a great guy. That's why I want to win. No, I'm going to win. With these words, Leon is truly a hero. He is like a hero who admits his weakness and tries to grow up. Oh, try it, hero. The place where I am is not so low that you can easily surpass me, okay? Yeah, that's why it's worth aiming for. Remember after the summer vacation. I'll be stronger than ever. With these words, Leon turns around and walks away. I look at the hero's back as he walks away and smile. I'm glad to see that his eyes are looking better. It seems that Shinya has done a good job as a stepping stone. They say everything has its use. 
Even a piece of SC asterisk M like Shinya seems to have helped Leon grow. Just as Leon had declared. After the summer break, he would emerge a much grown. Up man. I am looking forward to seeing him again. Asterisk 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 thus, the first half of the first year of Royal Sword and Magic Academy comes to an end. My school life spent as the villainous character Xenon Baskerville was full of unexpected incidents, and the days were filled with enemies and mishaps that attacked me one after another. Even so, I was able to gain reliable friends such as Urza, Ares, and Nagisa. I eventually reconciled with Leon, with whom I had a hard time at first, and I succeeded in helping him grow as a protagonist. The fact that I was able to save people who were supposed to die in the game, such as Jean and Arisa. The fact that I was able to defeat Shinya Kushinagi, whom originally planned to fight much later in the game, is also a great achievement. However, the story is not happily ever after at this point. There is one more incident left to tell. Xenon.sama, the Lord has asked you to come to his room. Zaius, the chief butler, told me when I returned to the mansion after the orientation. For the first time in months, I will see my father again. I will see Garandolf Baskerville, the head of the Baskerville family, who rules the Knights of Slayer's kingdom. Chapter 89 Reunion with Father You are listening at NovelFull.audio After returning the women who wanted to follow me, I went to my father's room by myself. Breathe. I stand in front of the door and take a deep breath. I listen carefully but I don't hear anything through the door. The room is as quiet as if it is empty. Well then. Let's see each other. I turn the doorknob with determination. Then the door is opened slowly. I step forward and step into the room. Dark bullet. Dot. The next moment, a jet dot black bullet flies out from inside the room. I ducked as low as I could to avoid the bullets. I had expected him to attack me without warning, but he is still a crazy father. Now I had two choices. Either I jump into the room. Or, to retreat and run away. Ha! Isn't that obvious? I laughed evilly and jumped forward from the low position using the force of my legs. Even if I retreat, there is no escape as long as I am in the Baskerville's mansion. My life is in the midst of death. So, I'm going to decide the game at once. Humph. I jump into the room, and in the center of the room stands Garandolf Baskerville, dressed in a black suit. Garandolf's eyes widen in astonishment as he sees his son jump into the room, having avoided his surprise magic attack. As he was surprised, I dashed into my father's arms and fired an attack skill with my physical skill. Destruction Strike, Zeppasho Slash, Dot. NGH. Garandolf catches my palm strike with his arm, but the impact released penetrates his body, ignoring his defenses. Destruction Strike is a physical skill that does not use a weapon. It uses no weapon and although its attack power is small, it has a penetrating effect that nullifies defenses. I had expected Garandolf's body is sent flying backward. But he is the evil leader who claims to be the strongest in the kingdom. Instead of slammed into the wall, he stomps the floor hard and holds on. Hey! Xenon! Humph! Ignoring my father's attempts to speak, I draw my sword from its sheath. I try to slash at his neck, but Garandolf quickly catches it with the sword at his waist. Ha! Ngh! The two swords clash, and for a moment, I see an opening. Unfortunately, Garandolf seems to have more power. My sword pushes back, and I leap backward. Dot it has been a long time, father. I'm glad to see you are well. Xenon. What do you think you're doing, coming at your father? Garandolf ignores the social greetings and glares at me. I cower sarcastically and retort flatly. Excuse me. But you suddenly fired a magic shot at me, and of course, my body moved quickly. I mean, you were the one who made the first move, weren't you? Well. Now you're telling me. 
I heard you defeated the cadre of the Demon King's army. Garandolf squints at me with interest as I retort. I was going to give a warning to my incompetent son who failed to fulfill his duty to take the first place in his class. But you're showing more spirit than I thought you would. I praise you, there is a saying, take a look at the boys after they don't see each other for three days. So, if you don't see your son for a few months, you'll miss his growth. I watch Garandolf with my sword still in its scabbard. We exchanged something that it would not have expected to see in a father-son reunion. But Garandolf did not seem to be attacking me. At least, he does not seem to have any intention to attack me out of resentment for being repelled by him. I would have preferred to continue the exchange of blows, but if Garandolf does not make a move, I decide to change the situation. Father, you mentioned it before, didn't you? The head of the Baskerville family must be the strongest. Dot. In other word. If I beat you, you're not qualified to be the head of the Baskerville family, right? I take off the gloves I had on before entering the room and throw them at Garandolf. The black leather glove goes off in a parabolic trajectory and hits Garandolf's chest. Father, I challenge you to a duel. I look Garandolf straight in the eye and declare clearly. The Baskerville family is mine. If you call yourself the strongest, you won't run away, will you? You stupid son of a bitch. Are you serious? When challenged to a duel, Garandolf turns his fiery gaze on me and bares his fangs like a large predator. At the same time, his entire body overflows with an enormous amount of murderous intent. An overwhelming will to kill. An aura so vicious that it was no less than Shinya Kushinagi's or Queen Margarita's. I thought you were a foolish son, but I never thought you could not read the difference in our strength. Now, I will not allow you to swallow your spit. If you want to die, I will kill you. Fine by me. You're the one who's going to die, anyway, I retort, unafraid of the killing with my lips pursing into a smile. Xenon Baskerville and Garandolf Baskerville. The root of all evil that rules the Knights of Slayer's kingdom. The Baskervilles, father and son, exchange a vicious, biting smile and exchange glances head dot on. Oddly enough, their evil and belligerent expressions are very similar, just like father and son.